Welcome back friends. Our topic is integration of greatest integer function and the integration of fractional part of functions. Friends, please watch the complete video in this joint enter section because same type of question was set in mains January examination. So you may expect again this type of question. Friends, evaluate integration 0 to n integral part of x dx and this notation is the integral part of x where n belongs to capital N that is the set of uh, natural numbers that is the counting numbers. Now friends, uh, let us start with the concept of integral part of x. What is integral part of x? Suppose uh, we consider on the real line that is negative infinity to positive infinity we consider two points conjugative points respectively n and n plus 1 and x lies between n and n plus 1. Okay? So, if we take the integral part of x then we have to take the nearest integer that is n. Okay? So, the integral part of x when x lies between n and n plus 1 is n. In this way, our example a gives us integration 0 to n. We split it into n parts. Okay. Let us draw this one. This is negative infinity to positive infinity. And say this is 0, this one is 1, 2, 3. In this way, finally, we are getting the end point that is n and it is presenting point is n minus 1. Suppose x lies between 0 and 1. Okay? x belongs to 0 and 1. So, the integral part of x will be the nearest integer that is 0. Okay? In this way, when x lies between 1 and 2, its greatest part, greatest integral part will be 1. So, finally, when x lies between n minus 1 to n, then the greatest integer part of x that is the integral part of x is n minus 1. Okay? Now, we start the integration. Integration 0 to n integral part of x dx is equal to, we split it now, integration 0 to 1 and uh, what will be the integral part of x when lies between 0 and 1? This will be 0, obviously 0. So, 0 dx. Next, integration 1 to 2. When x lies between 1 and 2, the integral part will be 1. So, 1 dx. Next, integration 2 to 3. When x lies between 2 and 3, the integral part is 2. So, 2 dx. And uh, this is continuing. And finally, in the interval n minus 1 to n, and uh, the integral part of x will be n minus 1, n minus 1 dx. Okay? Now, we know that the in integration of a dx is x. And since this is 0, so obviously this is 0. And we start with the second one. 1 dx integration of dx is x. And if we put the limit uh, 1 to 2, then it will be 1 time 2 minus 1 plus 2 integration dx that means 2 times of x and uh, the limit is 2 to 3 so it will be 3 minus 2 and this is continuing plus n minus 1 into n minus the lower limit n plus 1. So this n is cancelled finally we are getting 1 into 2 minus 1 that is 1 2 into 3 minus 2 that is 2 next will be 3 and 4 and continuing the last term is n minus 1 okay that means now we see that this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 that is the first n minus 1 continued natural numbers and the sum of this one will be n into n minus 1 upon 2 okay so integration 0 to n of the integral part of x dx is equal to n into n minus 1 whole upon 2. Evaluate integration 0 to n fractional part of x dx. This curly bracket of x is the fractional part of x and n belongs to capital N, small n belongs to capital N that is the set of natural numbers. Okay. Now friends, 
first of all we have to uh, learn what is uh, the fractional part of x as for example we consider 2.01 actually uh, 2 is the integral part and 0 1 is the fractional part but how we will get this uh, fractional part this 0 0.01 this is the fractional part this can be got from 2.01 minus 2 what is 2.01 2.01 is the original number this original number minus the integral part the integral part of 2.01 is 2 so if you subtract the integral part from the original number then you will get the fractional part of the value 2.01 this is 0 0.01 so in this way the fractional part of x can be written you know the fractional part is written in the curly bracket so curly bracket of x is equal to x minus the integral part of x so use this concept so friends integration 0 to n the fractional part of x dx is equal to integration 0 to n x minus integral part of x dx isn't it so integration 0 to n x dx minus integration 0 to n the integral part of x dx and uh, integration of x dx is x square by 2 and if you put the limit 0 to n then it will be only n square divided by 2 minus integration 0 to n of integral part of x dx just we have solved this one <coughs> we evaluate this one evaluated this one 0 to n integral part of x dx is equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2 so we use this one n into n minus 1 upon 2 so we can take n by 2 common so in bracket n minus n plus 1 so n is cancelled we are getting finally only n upon 2 so integration of 0 to integration of the integral part of x from 0 to n is n upon 2 now this is very important this came in the mains exam evaluate integration 0 to n integral part of x dx upon the uh, integration 0 to n fractional part of x dx so friends this is very simple integration 0 to n of integral part of x dx just to got this one and this is nothing but your n into n minus 1 divided by 2 just got this one again i show this one this is the result n into n, n minus 1 divided by 2 and uh, integration 0 to n uh, fractional part of x dx is n by 2 okay so friends we are getting n into n minus 1 upon 2 into 2 upon n we cancel n and can be cancelled because n is not is equal to 0 n is a natural number and 2 is cancelled so ultimately we are getting n minus 1 so friends this is the result integration 0 to n integral part of x dx divided by integration 0 to n fractional part of x dx is equal to n minus 1. Thank you. Have a nice day.